In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for NaOH plus MnNO3 2, sodium hydroxide plus manganese 2 nitrate. First thing with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. I can see I have two nitrate ions here and just one here. So I'm going to put a 2 in front of the sodium nitrate. Now I have two sodium ions and only one here. So I'm going to put a 2 here. That balances the sodium gives me two hydroxides, but I have two hydroxides over here. So that's good. That's balanced. We have manganese, manganese, all good. The molecular equation is balanced. Now we can write the states for each substance. Sodium hydroxide, that is a strong base. It's a strong electrolyte. It's going to split apart into its ions, aqueous, nitrates, very soluble. And then here we have sodium nitrate. That's going to be soluble. Then the manganese hydroxide, Hydroxides of these transition metals are often insoluble or slightly soluble. So because we're going to count this as insoluble, that means it's going to be a solid. When these two substances react, it forms that solid, which is a precipitate, falls to the bottom of the test tube. So we have the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. Sodium is in group 1 on the periodic table, has a 1 plus charge, in this whole hydroxide, that's always 1 minus. I have two sodium ions, and I won't write the states now. I'll do that at the end. Plus two hydroxide ions. And then manganese is a transition metal, so we need to look at what it's bonded to to figure its charge out. Nitrate is always 1 minus. We have two of them. Manganese has to be 2 plus. So we have our manganese 2 ion and then two nitrate ions. And those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. In the products, we'll have two sodium ions and then two nitrate ions. The manganese hydroxide, manganese 2 hydroxide, that is a solid. So we're not going to split that apart. We'll keep that together. And this is our complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They haven't changed, so we're not interested in them. I can see in the reactants here, I have two sodium ions and in the products. Cross that out, two nitrate ions in the products, two nitrate ions. Cross that out, and what's left, that's our net ionic equation for sodium hydroxide plus manganese 2 nitrate. I'll clean it up, write the states in, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for this NaOH plus MnNO3 2. You can see charge is balanced. We have two negative charges here, two positive. They balance out to give us a neutral compound here in the products. And if you count the atoms up, they're the same on both sides as well. Often you'll see the positive ion written first. It's the same net ionic equation, just maybe looks a little bit nicer. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.